when you get to the top of your profession and then you have to go back to like without knowing everything it's so hard so I hey know. everyone my name is kajal and welcome to this channel this channel is about different career paths career growth and interview with amazing people to inspire you to be all that you can be for today's video i have the opportunity to interview renata she moved from brazil to usa in brazil she was at the top of her career she was a speech therapist and had her own clinic she looked at the whole move as an opportunity to try a completely different career so what did she choose for her career stay tuned and find out right. so you want to tell us a little bit about yourself uh sure my name is renata uh or renata if it sounds better so in portuguese people call me renata so i moved to from brazil six years ago i'm a speech therapist but nowadays i work for a company that uh, resells luxury handbags and i am an authenticator so it was a life change <laughs> there you go from a speech therapist to a bag authenticator a luxury handbag authenticator would you have ever imagined that as a job So I have three kids and when we moved from from Brazil nobody speaks English so but after they start going to school in three months they were able to talk and because kids learn very fast so Gabe was an uh, 11 Carolina was 10 and Olivia was 9 at that time and my husband he speaks five languages and I thought I, I, I didn't thought I was sure I know how to speak English when I arrived here I was devastated I was not able to understand anybody anyone and it was hard for me because I worked my entire life helping people who couldn't not speak and then I was on that situation that nobody could help me and I was like oh my gosh what is going on it was very hard for me so then I tried many things I I had private teachers I went to community college to learn it was not the way and then I thought I just need to keep listening and I decided to watch videos on YouTube so it was when my English got better so it was at least 30 videos every single day about different things because sometimes I want to say to someone oh you look pretty with your hair uh, uh, on this position so I didn't know so I watched a video where people would talk about hair but then I would talk with some friends asking oh how do you clean the house which product I didn't know how to do that so I watched videos that <laughs> people would teach me how to clean the house and then I wrote down all the words and I would study that many many times so now tell us a little bit about your career you said you were a speech therapist so what came next like what was your first job like how did you get that first job the first the first step is very hard because when you get to the top of your profession and then you have to go back to like without knowing everything it's so hard so i thought what should i do where i'm gonna find a job where should i look for as a job so the thing that came in my mind is like you have to like the place you go what did you like to do when you arrived here? So I liked to take my kids to paint ceramic. So I was like, you know what? I like it to be there with the kids. So I'm gonna go there and ask for a job. But that kind of job, it's for people who are in high school and I am <laughs> 45 years old. So I just walked in, it was hard my heart didn't beat in my chest beat it in my brain it was doom, doom, doom. so 
what am I gonna say? So the owner was there at the cashier. So I look at her and I said, um, can I have jo a job here? She looked at me and she said, why are you looking for a job like this old lady? <laughs> You're and not I, old. <laughs> you don't look old. <laughs> so I explained to her that my kids were already, Gabe was driving and I had time and uh, I would like to work. I didn't give the real reasons for her. <laughs> and she said, of course, come back tomorrow and uh, you are going to do the test. So I went back. I did four hours of test. Wow. And then she called me. Can you start tomorrow? And uh, that was such a a big surprise because I would never expect that I would be hired. So I worked there for six months. Six months? Yeah. Nice. What would you say after six months that you gained? What was it that, you know, helped you towards the next step? So many things, so many things. How to deal with young people, how <laughs> to understand their English, because when I'm talking to you, your English, because you were not a, an American, it's so much easier to understand. Thank you. <laughs> when you talk with a teenager, it's a different language, it's a different English. And then at the beginning, they would like, would look at me and say, oh what this person is doing here like i was someone like out of their world and i taught them how to be together and uh, be <laughs> friend i can tell you i started there without speaking english without answering the phone and uh, at the end uh, i had the key of the store i was doing every single the manager disappeared from the store because he's like okay you take care of everything so it was i learned everything i think you're the spark in your eyes itself says that you learned so much from that place and it's a happy memory it was a struggle but still a happy memory yeah there was yeah there was one day i was by myself at the store just for you to have an idea there was a waiting line outside the store because it was packed and a lady came and she said uh where's my table and i said oh you don't have a reservation and she said yes i have i'm gonna do my kids birthday party here and she made a mistake she looked at me and she said you know what i am pregnant and i'm about to have my kid my child if if I have my child before the time I'm supposed to, you were the one who is responsible for that. So you better do my party. So I think I will never forget this day. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say I learned a lot, I learned a lot. <laughs> yeah, so everything went well. And uh, at the end of the party, she said, you know what? you should open your own business because wow. you are too good to be an employee. <laughs> when I closed the door that night, I got into my car and I cried so much, so much, so much because I think it was the toughest day in my life. Wow. That day was very hard. I miss that place. And... Uh, <laughs> I don't know the explanation because it was the place that it was everything was so hard i i learned um by making mistakes it's not easy to learn by making mistakes and i miss that place i would go back if they would offer me more money because <laughs> minimum wage you know yes yes <laughs> it's different i would go back because i really like it because i think it's was the place that taught me so many things yeah. so well who knows you know who one knows? day you might own <laughs> your own ceramic place i'll be your first customer yes <laughs> <laughs> all right so from there i believe your next job was the authenticator yes 
How did that happen?